Here's what you will need to make your own Claire Bun Beanie. You will need some number four worsted weight yarn. This is I Love This Yarn from Hobby Lobby in the color linen. You will need to make the adult size a J 6.0 millimeter crochet hook. This is for my attention specifically. When I first wrote this pattern, I used an I hook. Um, but I switched to Clover and more. My tension got a little bit tighter. So definitely check your gauge. It is a three by three inch square should give you to get to that would be 10 single crochets for 10 rows should give you a three by three inch square. So that is the gauge, but this is the hook that I will be using. I highly recommend Clover or more hooks. If you've never tried them before, they will change your life. A tapestry needle for sewing in your tails at the end and a pair of scissors. You can also use a tag if you have one to put your business name on the brim of your beanie once it's finished. Totally optional. Let's get on to the tutorial. We are going to start by making a slip knot. And then we are going to chain 31. Thirty one. Then we're going to join our last chain with our first chain, creating a circle. So just run your fingers down your chain, making sure it's not twisted, and then bring the first chain to meet your last chain. Insert your hook. I like to go into the back bump, grab your yarn, go through both loops, then chain one. Now we're going to single crochet one time in each stitch all the way around, giving us a total of 30 single crochets. And I am going to put them in the back bumps. So we're, we're not going to go where we just joined. We did 31 chains. We're only going to have 30 single crochets. So we're not going to put our hook here. We're going to go to the next back bump. And if you are looking at your stitches, the back bump, this is where you see the V. But if you tilt it and look on the back, all these horizontal bars right here, that's the back bump. So I'm going to insert my hook into the first back bump, just like that. And that is where I'm going to place my single crochet. That's one. I'm going to do that all the way around for a total of 30. That's two. You may notice that when I crochet, I yarn under instead of the traditional yarn over. That is how I taught myself to crochet. I'm self-taught. I didn't realize I was doing it while I was learning. What this does, it gives my single crochet stitches a slight twist. My goodness, that's hard to say. It gives them a slight twist. So they're slightly tighter and slightly smaller than if you were to yarn over. I don't think it's going to affect the finished size of your beanie. Um, so if you yarn over instead of yarning under, I think you're gonna be all right. You're welcome to go with either method for your Claire Bun beanie. This is just what I'm doing because this is how I taught myself and I'm much faster at it this way. Um, yarning under makes me go much faster than yarning over. So I'm gonna finish single crocheting one time in each back bump all the way around giving me a total of 30 single crochets. And then when I get back to the beginning, I will come back and get ready for row two. Okay, I just finished my 30th single crochet. I'm gonna make sure I'm not twisted at all. If you, if you get like this or like this, you're gonna get super wonky. So make sure nothing is twisted, everything is nice and flat. Join into the top of your first single crochet right here and then chain one. Now we're gonna get ready for row two. For row two, our repeat is gonna go half double crochet, half double crochet, half double crochet increase. We're gonna do that all the way around. It's gonna take us from 30 stitches to 40 stitches. I'm gonna do it here on camera with you. So do, to do a half double crochet, we're gonna yarn over. Insert, we're gonna start in the hook, in the stitch where we just joined as well. So the top of that first single crochet, that's where we're gonna start. Yarn over, insert your hook into your stitch, grab your yarn and pull up a loop. You got three loops on your hook. Yarn over, pull through all three loops. That is the half double crochet. We're gonna do another one of those in the next stitch. 
And then we are going to half double crochet increase in the third stitch. So that just means placing two half double crochets in the exact same spot. So this is what it's going to look like. You just got two coming out of the same spot. We're going to repeat that all the way around. Half double crochet, half double crochet, and then an increase. half double crochet, half double crochet, then an increase. So two in the same spot. I'm gonna repeat that all the way around, giving me a total of 40 half double crochet stitches in the row. I will come back once I get back around and we will get ready for row three. Okay, almost finished with row two. I'm gonna end right here on an increase. One, two, join into the top of our first half double crochet and chain one. For row three, we're going to be working in the camel hump of our row two. So normally when we insert our hook, we go right here under those two stitches for the V stitch, right? Under this, this V shape of our stitches. To do the camel hump, we're going to tilt our work all the way forward looking at the back of our stitches and this horizontal bar right here these ones that's where we're going to be inserting our hook so we are going to this is going to be another increase row we're going to start in the camel stitch closest to our hook so right in the same space where we joined but it's going to be in the camel hump instead of where where we actually joined so I'm just going to tilt my work forward so I can find that horizontal bar right there. That's where I'm going to insert my hook. And that's where I'm going to place my half double crochet. And then we are going to half double crochet in the next two. So three total. That's two. And then that's three. Now we're going to half double crochet increase in the next camel hump. So two half double crochets in the same spot, one, two, that's going to be our repeat for this row, three half double crochets and then a half double crochet increase all in the camel hump, that's one, that's two, that's three, and then we're going to increase in the next one, one, two. Let's take a look at our work. The, by putting our half double crochets in the camel hump, it pushes the V part of our stitches to the front of our work, which creates a really nice design detail, giving us letting us see the tops of those stitches. Um, so that's what the camel hump is doing. I'm gonna continue doing three half double crochets and then a half double crochet increase in the camel humps all the way around until we have a total of 50 half double crochets in this row. Then I will come back and we will get ready for row four together. Okay, I've got my last increase right here. Then we're going to join into the top of our first half double crochet. And this time we are going to chain two. One, two. This is what we have so far. Now we're going to do row four, which is a little tricky. We have been increasing each row by 10, so it's been a very nice even repeat. This one, we are only going to do seven increases, taking us from 50 stitches to 57 stitches. So they're not in a nice, lovely, clean repeat. They're just going to be spaced out kind of randomly. Um, I don't like for them to be... Now, you don't want them all next to each other because then your hat's going to get wonky. So we're going to space out seven increases randomly around this hat. If you are familiar with crochet, you are more intermediate to advanced, you can just do it on your own. But if you need step-by-step -step instructions, we're going to do this entire row together here on camera um, because it will be a little bit weird. Definitely considering to what you're used to from crochet patterns from me. This one was actually designed back in 2016 or 2017. So my designing style has been a little bit tweaked since then. Um, so let's go ahead and do this row 
this row together. It is double crochets this time, not half double crochets, and we're still working in the, the camel hump. So we are going to yarn over, insert our hook into the first camel hump closest to our hook, grab our yarn, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. That is the double crochet. So that's the stitch we're gonna be using. We're gonna start by making nine double crochet stitches. So that's one into the camel hump. That's two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and then we are going to place our increase. So two double crochets together in the camel hump. Yarn over, insert our hook, pull the loop, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull two, through two. Do that again in the exact same spot. That's our first increase. So we're gonna have seven of those all the way around. Now we are going to double crochet for four stitches. So one, two, three, four, and then we're going to place our increase in the next stitch. Okie dokie. We're gonna do that again. So four half double crochets. One, two, three, four, I'm sorry, I think I said half double crochet, four double crochets, then double crochet increase, one, two, okay. The next one is going to be nine double crochets again. So we're gonna go nine stitches before our next increase, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay, and then we're going to increase. There we go. Now we have four stitches before our increase. So, one, two, three, four, and then an increase. We're gonna do that again. Four stitches before our increase. One, two, three, four, and then an increase. Okay, almost finished with the row. We have nine more double crochets before our last increase. So I'm gonna go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine and end on an increase, giving us a total of 57 stitches in the row. Now we're going to join on the top of our chain two. So we're not gonna be joining in the top of the stitch. This is just personal preference. If you want to continue joining into the top of the stitch, you are more than welcome to do that. But when you put your first stitch after that, it's gonna go in the same spot that you joined. Let me show you how the seam is going to look so you can see it. The seam is pretty straight. This is going to go doing it the way that I do it here on camera. So we are going to join into the top of our chain two that we did right here. So one, two into the top. Some people chain threes before they do double crochets. I like to chain two. I think it's cleaner. Join into the top of our chain two. And then we are going to chain one and turn our work. We're gonna turn it, that's very important. A lot of people seem to miss that on some of my bobble patterns. So we're going to turn our work. We're looking at the back of our beanie now, or the inside, once it's actually a beanie. This is gonna be the inside. 
For row five, we are going to do our bobble stitch row. So this is our first bobble stitch row right here is what we're looking for. That's row five. We're going to start with a bobble stitch and we're going to end with a bobble stitch. If I was to redesign this pattern, that would probably not be what happens. But with the chaining up in between, it's still nice and clean. You can see that right here. They don't look, I mean, the chain one replaces the single crochet. So they look nice. So we're just going to keep going with what the pattern originally says. We're going to start by putting a bobble stitch in the first stitch closest to our chain one. To do a bobble stitch, we're going to yarn over, insert our hook into the stitch, grab our yarn, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two. We're going to do that three more times in the same space. Yarn over, go back into the same stitch, grab a loop, pull it up, yarn over, pull through two. That's two. Yarn over, same space, pull it up, pull through two. That's three. One more time. Yarn over, in we go. Pull through two, that's four. Now we're going to yarn over and pull through all one, two, three, four, five loops on our hook. So yarn over, pull through all five loops. That finishes our bobble stitch. Then we're going to go directly into the next stitch and create our single crochet. Insert your hook, grab your yarn, pull up a loop. This is where I like to give my working yarn a nice tug. That tightens all of those stitches we just did over here, making our bobble stitches really pop. Then finish off your single crochet. I'm going to do that again, but a little bit closer to the camera, actually. Let's just zoom in. Okay, so I'm going to yarn over, insert my hook into the stitch, grab my yarn, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two. That's one. We're going to do that three more times in the exact same spot. Yarn over, insert. Grab our yarn, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two, that's two. Yarn over, insert, grab, pull up, yarn over, pull through two, that's three. One more time. That's four. Then we're going to yarn over, pull through all the loops on our hook, and then place our single crochet in the next stitch, making sure to give our work a nice tug finishing out the stitch and I'm going to pull up to show you what it is looking like on the outside or the right side of our beanie. So that's what our bobble stitches are looking like. This beanie has a ton of texture which I absolutely love. This one was my favorite of the messy bun beanies that I designed back in 2016 or 17. Um, but Kate, Kate was my favorite. Claire was the one that went viral. So you've probably seen my Claire bun beanie and she was designed at the same time that Kate and Juliet was also designed. If you know where all three of my messy bun beanie names came from, I have another beanie on my blog called the Charlie Hat. So we have Charlie, Claire, Kate, and Juliet. If you know where those four names come from, let me know in the comments below because that means we have similar tastes. And here's the hint, similar tastes in TV shows. So this whole row, row five, is just going to be completing bobble stitch, single crochet, bobble stitch, single crochet, all the way around, ending with a bobble stitch. And I believe we're going to join, we're going to just join into the top of our bobble stitch. So I'm just going to keep doing bobble stitch, single crochet, all the way around, and I will come back when this row is almost finished and we will get ready for row six. Okay, I'm on my last stitch, which is a bobble stitch. And then we're going to join into the top of our tiny chain one right here. So it's not super easy to find. That's where we're gonna join. I think I said it differently before we got to the end of this row, but that's where we're gonna join. Join our yarn, chain two, because we're getting ready for double crochets, and turn our work. Please do not forget that. This is what we've got so far. It does not look like it's even going to be a beanie, but it is, I promise. For row one, two, three, four, five, six, we're just going to double crochet one time in each stitch all the way around, giving us a total of 50 double crochets in the row. First stitch is going to go on the top of our bobble stitch right here. So yarn over, insert, 
pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. That's the double crochet. Gonna do that all the way around until we have 57 double crochets for the row. And then we'll come back and get ready for row seven. Okay, coming up to my last double crochet, which is going to be in the bobble stitch again because the previous row ended and started with the bobble stitch. Join into the top of our chain two, so one, two, that's where we're going to join. I normally go into my tops of my stitches, so it's a little difficult for me because I'm not used to it. I'm going to join there and then we're going to chain two again. Now you can start to see our hat is starting to take shape, but it's starting to sh take shape inside out. So I'm gonna go ahead and kind of finagle it so it knows the direction it's supposed to be going in. Now for row seven, we're gonna do double crochets all the way around again, but this time we're gonna be placing our hook into the camel hump. So it's a little bit different than the half double crochet camel hump. So I'm gonna show you where it's at. So we're gonna again, look to the back of our stitches I'm gonna pull this out so I can use two hands. Now, originally, or not originally, but you may be tempted to put your hook here in this, in these spots. That's fine. I like to put mine right here. I think it's a cleaner look. Both of them will give you the same basic look. So if it's just easier for you to go into that other one, which is this one way down here, that's fine. I like to go in this one, which is the one directly like one, two, boom, three, there it is. The other one is way down here. Um, so this is where I'm gonna be inserting my hook for the double crochet camel stitch. And we're gonna do 57 double crochets all the way around in the camel stitch. So yarn over, find our spot where we're gonna insert our hook, okay? And complete your double crochet. We're gonna do that all the way around. Find your camel hump. And then after we finish row seven, I will come back and explain how to do the next few rows. And then we'll do them off camera for the sake of time. So I'm gonna come right back after this row and I will catch you back over here for row eight. Okie dokie, finishing up row seven. Just finished my 57th double crochet. I'm going to join into the top of my chain two right here. Chain one and turn your work. Very important. Now we're going to do row eight, which is going to be exactly the same as row five. So we're doing another bobble row and we're just going to repeat this like five, six, and seven. We're going to repeat that two more times. So this is what we've got. This is what we're going with. This is five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. 12. These are going to all be the same and then things are going to change once we get to 13. So I'm going to just start going through all of these rows off camera. Remember row 8 is just like row 5. Row 9 is just like row 6. Row 10 is just like row 7 and, and so on. And we're going to go through to row 12 which is the double crochet row after a bobble row. But when we get to row 13 which is the camel double crochet row we're going to do some decreases. So I'm going to do the next few rows here off camera just for the sake of time. And then when I come back we will do row 13 together and we will do um, some decreases and then a couple more rows after that and our Kate Bun Beanie will be finished. Okie dokie, I just finished row 12. This is what we look, this is what it looks like so far. We've got three bobble rows and then one row of double crochets after a bobble row. For row 13, it's gonna be a little confusing like row four was because we're taking 57 stitches and decreasing it down to 50 and that doesn't give us a nice lovely easy to do at repeat like some of these beginning rows did. So it's gonna be a little bit funky. You can either space out your decreases yourself, just know that you're gonna need to do seven decreases all the way around and just space them out. Um, they don't have to be in the exact same spots for your beanie to work and fit and look nice. But if you need step-by-step -step 
directions. I'm going to do them with you here on camera for the entire row. Again, this is in the camel hump. Um, so the decreases are going to be slightly different in the camel hump. Okie dokie, here we go. We're going to start by placing a double crochet in the camel hump. So I'm going to yarn over. Actually, I only chained up one. I'm going to chain up again. Should have two chains here. And I'm going to yarn over, insert my hook into the camel hump. Yarn over, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. Perfect. Now we're going to do a double crochet decrease over the next two cam camel hump stitches. So yarn over, insert your hook into the first loop right here, the first camel hump, grab our yarn, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two. Yarn over, insert your hook into the next camel hump. Grab your yarn, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two. You got three loops on your hook. Yarn over, pull through all three. That is your double crochet decrease. Now we are going to do four double crochet stitches in the camel humps. One. Two. Three and four and then we're going to do a camel double crochet decrease so yarn over insert in the camel bump grab a yarn pull up a loop yarn over pull through two yarn over the next bump grab our yarn pull up a loop yarn over pull through two we now have three loops on our hook Yarn over, pull through all three loops for our decrease. Now we have a little bit of some organization. We are going to double crochet in the camel humps for seven times and then do a decrease. So seven doubles and then a decrease. And we're gonna repeat that for five times. So we can just, so they're not gonna be super chaotic this time. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and then we have a decrease. That's one, we're gonna do that four more times. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, then a decrease. That's two, three more times. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and a decrease. That's three, I think. I don't remember now. We're going to keep doing it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and a decrease. One more, I think. I will double check with my notes. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and a decrease. Now we should just have three stitches left. That's going to give us 50 stitches in the row, which is going to help with the shaping of our Kate Bun Beanie. Perfect. Joining to the top of our chain two. 
chain one and turn our work. Now we are going to have another bobble stitch row. So we're going to start with our bobble stitch, but this time we only have 50 stitches instead of 57. That's an even number. 57 is an odd number. So we will be ending over here with a single crochet instead of ending with a bobble like we had been in all of the previous rows. So just bobble single crochet all the way around, ending with a single crochet, and then we will come back. We are almost finished, guys, in the home stretch. Coming up on my last stitch in this row, which is a single crochet. And I'm just gonna join into the top of my bobble stitch. You could do in top of, into the top of your chain if you'd like. We'll just go on the chain, because that was easy. <laughs> Sometimes it gives me fits. And then chain one, and now we're gonna turn our work. We only have two rows left, and that is two single crochet rows. So starting the top of the single crochet, we just completed. I'm going to place my first single crochet there. I'm going to do one single crochet in each stitch all the way around, giving me a total of 50 single crochets in the row. And then we're just going to join into the top of the first single crochet, chain one, and do one more row of single crochets. So we'll have a two, two single crochet row for our brim, giving us a nice pretty fitted looking beanie and then we'll be done so i'm gonna go ahead and finish this one come back and start the last one with you guys and then we will sew in our tails and step back and look at our cute cape bun beanie okay my 50th single crochet join into the top of my first single crochet chain one one more row of single crochets i'm gonna start in the same spot where i just joined and chained up since it wasn't in the chain, but it was in the actual stitch. The original pattern says to turn your work for this last row. And the reason for that was to help it kind of curve in towards your head a little bit more. Um, but I really like this look better. This is what I did for this one, just two single crochets, both showing the right side of your work. If you wanted to do this last row, by turning your work and then putting the back side of your stitches on the right side of your hat, you're more than welcome to do that. I, th I just think this is a really nice, clean brim look. So this is the one that I'm going with. Once I finish this row, I will come back and we can sew in our tails together. And then I will try this on and you can see what it looks like on, on a person. Okay, my 50th single crochet. Join into the top of my first single crochet. And now we can tie off, leaving a tail that's long enough to sew in, but it doesn't have to be dang long. And she's done. The crochet part is done. Finished. Finito. Now we're gonna sew in our tail. So I'm gonna turn it inside out, grab my tapestry needle, I'm going to sew in these tails on camera just in case you are a beginner and you've never sewn in a tail before. I go right into these stitches, being careful not to poke it out to the right side of your work. So don't let it poke through uh, like this. This is not what we want. We're just going nice and stealth like in between the actual stitches. And then I do a couple different passes. Pulling it taut, but not clenching it up. And I like to go over my my own spacing, like so that way it's super well and knotted up underneath all of these stitches here. So I'll take a few passes in the same spots. Easy peasy. Nice and clean looking. Like I mentioned at the beginning of this video, you could also add a custom tag to the brim of your Kate Bun Beanie. Um, I get my wooden tags from All This Wood on Etsy. I've also gotten some nice tags from um, Angie and Britt. They are not on Etsy, but they are on Instagram, and you can get to their website. I believe it's just angieandbritt.com, um, but they're definitely on Instagram, and you could check out their tags if you wanted to add a little bit of branding to your finished pieces, which I highly recommend. Um, I put tags on my beanies, and I get compliments on them all the time. People just really like the look of them. Okay, ta-da. 
That is what it looks like in all of her finished beauty. If I was gonna put a tag, it would go right here. Horizontal, it would say a crafty concept, super cute. Let's change camera views and let you see what this looks like on an actual person. Okay, here she is, a finished Kate Bun beanie. Let me raise this. It's the first time I've been too tall for something, okay? I'm four foot nine in case you can't tell. But this is what it looks like on an actual person. Very fun, lots of texture, lots of personality. I hope you guys love this pattern. If you did and you would like to get more free crochet patterns on a regular basis, please hit that subscribe button. It does a lot for the channel. I'm trying my best to put videos out once a week. That is my goal. So Fridays is my goal. I have lots of videos already up on this channel with free crochet patterns, business tips, tutorials walking you through how to open up your Etsy shops, all kinds of fun things. So do a little do a little pilfering around on the channel if you're interested in things like that. I will see you guys over on Instagram. I'm at a crafty concept. If you make yourself a Kate Bun beanie and you would like to show me, you can tag me. Um, I love to see them. I would try my best to comment on all of the ones that I'm tagged in, but I will be even more better at liking them, if nothing else. So hopefully I will, I will at least be able to see it and like them for you. I try my very, very best to respond every time I'm tagged in something because it really, really means the world to me to get to see you guys make my finished pieces. I'm sure I overlook some, but I do, I really do try super, super hard. Um, so I will see you over on Instagram. I will see you here on YouTube in my next video. Thanks for hanging out and I hope you have an amazing week. Bye.